So the funniest story. So today is the first day, obviously, that the students don't need to wear masks. Yeah. So like some of them aren't, some of them are, whatever. I have this one kid in my class and like they sit relatively close to me, like not right in front of me, but relatively close to me. <laughs> and like in the middle of like language, like when we're like working on stuff, they just rip the nastiest part. <laughs> God. but like because like some people don't have masks on they just pick it up quicker so like, there was one kid in my class who was just like <laughs> because like no one knew and then you just hear this one kid go <laughs> like oh my goodness <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to the teachers talk podcast today we're going to be talking about our march break because Obviously, March break is a super important and supposedly relaxful time in a teacher's life. So I thought we would just break that down for everyone. And you can already see David with a little bit of a chuckle there. But uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to send it to you first, David. So March break, what did you do, man? Uh, March break was busy. March break was busy. I actually saw two movies um, <laughs> for something that I volunteer for. So I saw uh, the new Batman movie, which was a complete thriller. Loved the movie. Um, it was, I guess, very different than, than what I expected. Not the same as The Dark Knight, but also a very good movie. I also saw Big Hero 6, um, a movie that I've never seen. Uh, they have, like, a, Baymax is like, I, I want one myself. I, I want to just, like, accidentally stub my toe so Baymax can, like, pop out and, <laughs> and just, like, heal yeah. me back to health. Um, but started off with a couple of movies, a little bit of relaxation, uh, a lot of marking, a lot of CPT marking, all my CPTs were due, as well as all the coursework. Honestly, all my final assignments came this week. I gave a presentation on trigonometric identities on Friday. Um, actually a very fun topic to kind of dive into because it's very different from a lot of math that you usually do, um, or at least I think they're fun. I think they're like puzzles. But other than that, a lot of prepping, a lot of coursework, a little bit of time for myself. Um, played some video games as well. Nice. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Some League of Legends. Nice. <laughs> Love that. Same thing. Honestly, I try to have some fun, try to relax. I also had the opportunity to watch Batman. Um, some people have the audacity to say it's better than Dark Knight. Those people should not be allowed to watch movies. That being said, um, worked on my culminating task, which... Uh, basically, a culminating task is a task that kind of encapsulates um, all the components or all the learning strands of the unit or a course and uh, is designed to allow students the opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge. So I created and implemented a culminating task right before the break. And so I was answering student emails and issues uh, throughout the break. And I also interviewed and got a second part time job as a math tutor. So um, I did like a practical test on a couple of concepts to remind myself. And there they were, trigonometric identities. And for the life of me, I could not remember what cosecant was. Um, so that was, that was fun. Uh, I kind of racked my brain for half an hour, surrounded by, you know, young children asking me, sir, what's five plus five? And I'm like, guys, I'll just do this for the rest of my life. I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, a mix of schoolwork, but also have the chance to relax as well. Yeah, ele elementary teaching can definitely be interesting. Uh, in terms of my March break, well, I guess it was pretty fun. Like, it was, it was enjoyable. Uh, I guess if we're going to start off with the relaxing part, I think I went ice fishing like three times. So that was pretty exciting. I was super pumped for that. Uh, just an excuse to get out there, especially at the end of the year. Just get out there on the lake. It's so peaceful, so quiet. You can just, you know, be in peace. Outside of that, I was marking. I was marking. And I did more marking. And then after the marking, there was lesson it's planning. More. Yeah, I know, exactly. I still have like two outstanding language assignments that I need to fully mark that are like paragraphs for each student. It's like, oh my goodness. But outside of the marking, I was lesson planning for the next couple of weeks, just trying to get ahead because it's very easy to uh, fall behind on that. So, you know, just doing some math, language, science, gym, whatnot. Had to learn about a sport that I've never heard about before called pickleball. Uh, so I started that unit today, which was pretty fun. Uh, outside of that, the final projects that David mentioned, 
yeah, pretty much working on my final projects for our teacher's college program because we finish in about two weeks. Problem is that means that like, this is like capstone project time for everyone. And we're actually going to be releasing a podcast about them and like our teachers college research projects in a couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. But overall, like there was just so much work associated with it, just having to do the research and having to write about it uh, and sort of getting a presentation together. But yeah, I think that was most of my reading week. I think that's pretty much it. And I think I touched on lesson planning and uh, unit planning and whatnot. So I'm actually going to pass it back to Alex. So what type of lesson planning did you do over March break? Like, did you do anything for your uh, placement or did you just sort of like, I have other stuff to do? I mean, I was able to kind of take a brief look at what we're going to be doing in our block, which is, you know, a few weeks away from uh, present day. I did initially have a plan for, you know, today and uh, tomorrow, but then my MT emailed me on Thursday saying that she's kind of a shift of the schedule. So what I did today and what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I just basically went around and helped kids out their culminating tasks. So making sure that they have all the necessary components, making sure that they're staying focused on task. But in terms of lesson planning, as you said, it's pretty easy to fall behind. So I always make myself kind of a mental reminder um, or a physical reminder on a piece of paper saying, make sure to do this. And I usually, um, I've had, um, I've been fortunate to have like a couple of great mentor teachers and they always tell me in advance what I'm going to be teaching or like they kind of say, okay, this is what we're going to be going with. Which of these would you be comfortable with? I'll pick and choose. And then a couple of days in advance, maybe on like a Friday or a Saturday, I start planning, making slides and so on activities. Um, but yeah, so apart from that, I try to enjoy myself as much as I could. Yeah. In, in terms of lesson planning, I'd say I, 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 I usually know exactly what I'm teaching. Um, my mentor teacher and I have like a really good organization um schedule so we have like all our unit breakdowns um and all the lessons that are going to be taught so um i just kind of have the general i guess lesson names and then i create all the slides all the um videos and kind of find everything that's going to be i guess learned based on either the textbook online resources she might my mentor teacher might send me uh, a couple more things just like i want them to know these key terms um for sure just based on uh the assessments but for the most part, um, just creating lots of slides, trying to find pictures and videos that are at the right level. Um, so I'm teaching astronomy right now, and there's a lot of terms that can be very complex. When we start getting into, you know, black holes and dark matter and, you know, supernovas and all these other, you know, fun terms to learn about and like really exciting things to learn about in astronomy, but finding a video where it's not someone that's like an astrophysicist talking about all the little specific names and like quirks and neutrinos and how all this radiation occurs. I was like, my, I need to find something that my students will be engaged with and understand. So they're not just like, this is way above their head and not even just above their head. It's like way above my head. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I hear you. Sometimes the hardest part about making a lesson or getting things ready is finding good resources and finding good activities. And the problem is with resources is that you need to watch them fully. You can't just assume that they're going to be good because sometimes they start talking about like, I don't know, black body radiation. And you're like, oh my goodness, I haven't done this since like second year university. And that is completely like left field for them. Um, but yeah, I think another thing that I was thinking about just as we're sort of like wrapping this up is I realized that over March break, I also did some hiring forms. Uh, and I think just March break is really good for all of us, especially if you are coming out of teacher's college or maybe you're a brand new teacher and you're sort of on the supply list or you've got like a long-term occasional position. It's a great time to like be looking at jobs, looking for what school boards want. Maybe you plan like an interview or two, maybe you apply to a few jobs or do some hiring forms. I think that's also like a really good time to do it because you can sit down for a whole day and just get into that right? Like polish up your resume. It doesn't take 30 minutes. It takes a couple hours, you know, especially with all the online portals for applications now. But uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap the podcast about March break up there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I hope you all enjoyed. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to join. Also, thank you to all the new members we've had lately. We have had a ton of people join the channel. So thank you very much. Uh, but with that said, as always, stay happy, safe and healthy, and we'll see you all around. Bye, everyone.